Okay, Kevon's Cottage, end of week 30-31. Uh, got quite a bit of stuff done the last couple of weeks. So first thing, we'll stand back here and show you the spiral staircase. All installed and welded up. Plus, I made a crow's nest out of the landing box, actually, in between the two sets of stairs. So I've got one set of stairs coming up from the uh, upper deck up to the crow's nest and then a spiral going down uh, to the front deck so I'll, I'll show that to you from upstairs when I get around here so I'll take a quick uh, walk through the uh, through the uh, up, updates uh, on the boat uh, for the last couple of weeks give me one quick sec here climb aboard uh, biggest thing uh, out here in the back um, as we got uh, the stairs all welded up. So there was a block of wood there if you look at it in the last videos. And we've got a place where water can flow out from underneath the, uh, underneath that top stair. It was trapped in there before and got all rusty. And then the uh, front, the whole front has been uh, welded in and closed off. So I'll take a quick walk around here. You can see we got some little ducky friends time of the year lots of little hatchlings around us coming inside okay I got the doors uh, doors all framed in I'll kind of walk through here into the kind of into the dark bedroom where I've got uh, bifold closet doors on there so let me open one up here so it gives you a chance to see how that operates and then of course you can see the the bedroom door is uh, already open there. Uh, the bathroom, um, got the shower walls and the uh, glass doors installed. Uh, let me close the uh, bathroom door here and then at least it'll give you an idea on what the finished product looks like in there. And then there's another door to match that uh, over in the uh, maintenance room. Um, got the uh, metal uh, trim put on the floors, as, as I mentioned uh, in the last video, we'll get that done. So we got that taken care of. Plus we got metal trim, as you can see, around the pellet stove. And then what I'm going to do is I'll uh, take a walk upstairs and show you where most of our time has been spent. One second here. Okay, so from up top, get a chance to see we cut the wall, the whole front wall of the boat out on the upper deck. So you can see how this is going to work now. So you go up to the upper deck here. So that upper deck is basically a little crow's nest or a little lookout position that gives you a great view of the lake and everything else so you can see how far up we are or higher than the actual roof where the solar panels are going to be going and uh, if I take a look down so my one thought was to actually put a big slide going out into the water here so that, that may be done so let me just uh, t take a walk down the stairs here stand back and show you what we're going to do here so now that the uh, now that the stairs have been welded in and anchored in place uh, the two front legs of the spud the two aluminum ones one there and one there we're gonna tie the main leg of the spud which has to stay so that's that big aluminum one there we're gonna bracket it to the uh, crow's nest and then we'll also bracket it up a little higher to the uh, beams uh, on the uh, covered patio up there. And then at that point, once that's been done, we're gonna be able to eliminate both the front legs that are holding up the main leg of the spud right now. So we're looking forward to kind of thinning out all the, uh, all the metal that's at the front of the boat and just make it, make it the spud itself, which most of the time is down like it is right now. And then the main leg, which holds the chain falls up at the very top. Um, also what we did was uh, cut off, uh, let me, sorry, cut off the legs of the spud where, that went through 
and now I'll be able to drop the spud another four feet down into the tube. So if we're in a little bit deeper water, it'll uh, drop down an extra four feet and give us uh, you know, a lot longer spud to sink into the ground, just in case. Anyway, so that's kind of the end of week uh, 3031. Yeah, more to come.